The Hawks face the Rams for the first time on Sunday, a division rival that's won seven of the last nine games against Seattle. Hello 12s, I'm Jen Mueller with a preview of the Hawks game against the Rams presented by Safeway. A 3-8 and eight record is not what the defending Super Bowl champs expected, but this is also not a team Seattle will overlook. They are because they're so well coached. Um, Schematically, since Sean went there, they've done so many good things, and um, that's what I'm talking about to the team, to introducing the team to them, is, is how well coached they are, how smart they are, and how they look the same as they always look. You know, they've adjusted some things as everybody does, but uh, they do it well. You know, when they're in those uniforms coming out of that locker room, those guys play good football. The defense has been a strength of the Rams, especially against the run. The Rams are the fourth best team in the league at stopping the run, allowing just 97 rushing yards a game. This is a really good defense. I mean, this is a defense that, that uh, just doesn't give you anything. You know, the runs and passes, they're leading the NFL in the, in the fewest explosions, you know. That's a huge accomplishment. That could signal more tough sledding for a Hawks offense that's generated just 104 rushing yards and 2.8 yards per attempt the last two games. Definitely haven't been playing up to our standard. You know, you can see it in the, you know, just execution. If it's, you know, one person on one play, another on another, you know, the spread, you know, the blame goes, uh, you know, across the board. And so it's just going back to the fundamentals, like we talk about, just get back to the basics, your hand position, your footwork, your communication. Um, you know, because we can perform at a way higher level and we haven't done that. We have not played up to our standard. Here's where Seattle might catch a break. The Rams seven time all pro and three time defensive player of the year. Aaron Donald is sidelined with a high ankle sprain. That's a significant loss for them. You know, he's a great player, uh, commands so much you know, attention and respect and all that. You know, he's always been such a big factor, so it, it, it changes. I don't know what how they're going to go about it. Even so, the Rams rank among the top 10 in yards allowed per game. That doesn't just come down to one guy. And after spending time as an assistant for the Rams, Andy Dickerson knows that firsthand. With the technique they play with, the uh, hustle, you know, he talks about the dog work that they get done. And when you see how they practice and how they get after, it's not a surprise that, you know, up front they play really, really well. Their front seven, uh, you know, creates a lot of pressure, um, you know, which allows the, def the DBs, um, you know, to to get an extra second, um, you know, to recover if they've been beaten on the route. But uh, they got a lot of variety to their defense. Um, you know, they throw a lot of a lot of stuff at you, similar to the uh, 49ers defense, and you just have to be prepared on offense that the quarterback makes the right read. Geno Smith found DK Metcalf 11 times against the Raiders, with DK posting a game-high 90 yards. This week, he'll likely have to contest with Jalen Ramsey. They have Jalen Ramsey. And so um, I would assume that he would, you know, accept that matchup. He's been a great player as well. And so uh, I know that he and DK have always kind of went head to head uh, just for me watching it. And so with them having Jalen, um, you know, they'll travel him sometimes and then at times they won't. There could be a bit of an X factor for the Rams in Bobby Wagner. He leads the team in tackles after spending 10 seasons in Seattle. And all the qualities that made him a tremendous competitor for the Hawks make him tough to face as an opponent. Bobby just has that great propensity to really understand everything that's going on uh, on every snap of each game he's playing. And, you know, that's what's made him such a special player throughout the course of his career with his preparation. So really more, you know, understanding his ability and, and where he's at and knowing that he's going to be quick to read and diagnose almost every scheme that he goes against and, and just being aware of that and, and knowing how to handle him. Seattle's offense looks at this game as a chance to get back on track and back on schedule this week. They have converted just four of 18 third down opportunities in the last two games. Not really third down offense. It's really, as a team, we're not focused enough. I think we make too many little mistakes um, that come back to bite us, you know, in the third, fourth quarter or, you know, late in the season. Um, we have to be consistent and, you know, do our job first and then worry about everything else later. The Rams injury woes include key weapons on offense. Two of the top three Rams receivers, Cooper Cup and Allen Robinson, are on IR. Matthew Stafford is dealing with a concussion and neck injury, which means the Rams have questions at quarterback and the Hawks will be facing a backup. I would hesitate to say use the word backup. You know, at the end of the day, they have professional players on their team uh, that are very talented. Uh, obviously what they've done last year, you know, they know what it is to win and um, attacking other quarterbacks, multiple quarterbacks, should I say, uh, there's a task because you got to cover everything and each quarterback presents different uh, 
different obstacles for us to overcome. In addition, the Hawks defense has its own questions to answer after allowing 444 rushing yards in the last two games and generating just one sack. We have to rush four as one, five as one, six as one, depending on how, however many players we bring in a blitz. You know, everybody's got to win their matchups, whether that be one on ones. But we know the way teams are starting to block against us. You know, they're blocking seven guys to our five. So, you know, any little one on one, we just got to rush like mad men. You know, we got to try to win those one on ones. Being able to weather the storm when things you do have a bad player, you have a bad drive to put that behind you to move on to the next one um, and just having the consistency in the play. You know, and if there is a bad player, if there's a bad drive, you got to be able to put it behind you and move on to the next one. That's what we're not handling very well right now. You know, no panic or any frenzy or anything like that, but there's definitely a sense of urgency and, and, and guys are feeling the need to, you know, really be on it this week from prepar a preparation standpoint and also from an execution standpoint once, the, once Sunday comes. That is a preview of the Hawks game against the Rams presented by Safeway. Kickoff is set for 105. And 12s, if you are watching the game from at home, Safeway's home gating recipe of the week is Burger Battle. Go to Seahawks.com slash Safeway for other game day recipes.